Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to change the background of an individual text block in your Squarespace website. We're going to give it a unique color, we're going to give it a custom gradient, and I'll even show you how to use a background image for that one specific text block. Now, all the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but as I'm sure you can imagine, we've got some customization to do here. So let's hop into Squarespace and I'll show you exactly how these codes work so you'll understand what parts you'll want to change for your own website design. So here we are inside Squarespace and you'll see on this page, I actually have three different blocks of text. Each one of them has the background enabled. I'm gonna hop into edit mode really quickly to show you what I mean by that. Hopping into edit mode, I'm gonna double click on a text block and we'll get to its design menu. And here I've toggled on background. Now, if you want all of them to have the same color background, you can update that in your site styles menu. But in this tutorial, we're gonna find the block ID and change the solid color background to a different color, give it a gradient and add an image. I'm gonna go ahead and select done and we're gonna to navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS. This is where we're gonna paste the code. Now, all the codes I'm about to share are beneath the video, but all of them start off with block ID. The block ID is a unique identifier that every block of content on your site will get. Now, to find this information, I use a free Chrome extension. I'm not affiliated with them, just a fan, and a link to it is below. So I'm gonna click the Chrome extension and instantly I'll see the block IDs for everything on my site. Now, let's go ahead and change the background for just this block right here. I'll grab that block ID. I'll turn off the extension and I'm gonna paste that right here in my custom CSS panel. Now, the first thing I wanna do is change the background color to just a solid color. So I'm gonna open up a curly bracket and I'll say background color and then the hex color code that I want to use. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you was how to give it a gradient background. To do that, we actually need to set the background color to transparent. So I'm gonna say background color, transparent, add a semicolon, and then I'll say background, linear gradient, and then I'll open up a parentheses, and for my gradient code, I'll say 45 degrees, red to yellow. And there we go. Now we have a gradient background for just that text block. No other blocks of text have been affected. If you want to learn more about gradient codes, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash gradient. Now, last but not least, let's add an image background. This one is a really exciting one. We're going to go ahead and leave the background color as transparent. And then we're going to say background image, URL, and then a parentheses, but we need to actually upload an image that we want to use. I strongly recommend hosting the image here on your Squarespace site so it will load with the rest of the content. And I'll show you exactly how to do that right now. I'm gonna scroll down underneath the CSS panel and click manage custom files. Here, I can drag and drop the image from my computer, place it right there and it will upload to my site. Now, when I click on that image, the URL is going to be placed inside those parentheses. Pretty cool, right? Now let's add another semicolon and we're going to say background size hover. Background size cover means that the image is going to cover the entire text block without losing its own proportion. You can also use background size contain, but if you use this, you might actually have a repeating image right here. Like you'll see that the image is not in the same proportion as the actual text block itself. So it's going to repeat itself. I could say no repeat if I want to, and we can get into complicated stuff there, but I didn't want this to be a complicated tutorial. So let's just stick with background size cover. That's going to make sure that this image covers the text block and it won't be distorted, stretched horizontally or vertically. Now, again, all of this is done by using the block ID. So I'm gonna scroll up here and click on this Chrome extension again. Let's apply this background image to just this block instead. I'll grab that block ID, turn off the extension and replace the number in the very beginning here. And now we have that unique background for this alternate text block. So again, find your block ID and then you'll be able to give it a solid background color, a gradient or an image. I'll go ahead and select save and we'll call this tutorial good to go. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. And again, those codes are listed in the description below, along with the link to that free Chrome extension that I use to quickly grab the block ID. Now, if this is your very first time adding custom CSS to Squarespace, I want you to head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. There I have my free guide to getting started with CSS so I can teach you even more about customizing your site with code. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. Now, if you liked this video, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I wanna make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're gonna love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. 
I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.